Hi, future middle level teachers. Welcome to week seven in MLED 480 Middle School Methods. I'm looking forward to reading your narratives about Audrey's second year of teaching and then reviewing your graphic organizers that you developed for your second Dropbox assignment. This week, you're going to read chapter six, Shared Vision, in This We Believe in Action. There are six short video clips that accompany the chapter that I would like for you to review. For those of you waiting for a textbook, I'll have the videos up hopefully by Tuesday. I loaned my book out and it's disappeared permanently. I know that you were asked to begin to think about differentiation a few weeks ago when you first began developing your middle level lesson plan which is you're still developing right now. This week, you're going to have the opportunity to further investigate what it means to have differentiated instruction. You're going to be going to two different websites, one by Carol Ann Tomlinson, who is at the forefront of differentiated instruction knowledge, and then also one by Scholastic. So I want you to read through both of those, the information that's on the websites, do some investigation that may help you understand further what we mean when we talk about differentiated instruction and this whole idea of content process and product. With your lesson plan, I want you to be thinking about how you could differentiate using ongoing formative assessment, um, recognizing the diversity of your learners, also group work to differentiate, problem solving, and then also giving your students choice, which is a way of helping with differentiation. So again, I want you to think about how these practices could be developed within your lesson plan. Next, I want you to go and use Google. Google's my friend and I hope it's yours too. Um, go ahead and just go to Google and type in there differentiating history or differentiating math, which I've got some examples of math since that's my content area in the week seven instructions. So again, think about how you can differentiate the content, the process, and the product for your lesson plan. And by that, you do not have to differentiate all three for a particular group, but you should at least differentiate one for each group. And the book, the groups I would like for you to think about are English language learners, students that are on individual education plans, and then also your gifted students. If you have any questions, please post them to the discussion board. And I'm going to be with limited internet access on Monday and Wednesday during the day. So if you have something that's pressing, please go ahead and text me. You have my phone number in the syllabus. Thanks, everyone, and have a great week.